The Private Equity Observatory at HEC Paris has historically focused on data-driven research in the area of private equity. More recently, we've been uh, um, uh, engaged in trying to advance the kind of toolkit available, in particular leveraging techniques related to artificial intelligence type uh, analyses, in particular machine learning. Of course, artificial intelligence is a big topic that's going to touch many aspects of the economy, um, but it's also going to um, be a possible a driver of more refined decision making for private equity investors. We've been exploring with those techniques and applying them to the wealth of data that we have at HEC, addressing a variety of questions. Questions related to how to select good investment opportunities if you want to commit to primary private equity funds, but also playing around with some techniques allowing us to value private equity funds for possible secondary transactions. We've finally been, uh, been exploring to what extent those techniques allow investors to have a better view on forecasting the possible cash flows from their private equity portfolios, both uh, possible uh, prediction of capital calls in quiet investments by their private equity funds, but then also cash distributions from those private equity funds. In all those techniques, we move from the kind of traditional world of statistics where you have a certain intuition and suspicion of a, of a link and then you try it out and test this in the data to more advanced techniques by systematically trying out a variety of techniques to classify cases, to identify patterns and predict outcomes based on very rich data on the one hand side that we gathered on private equity um, and then advanced machine learning techniques on the other. These techniques are hugely powerful because they can not only analyze linear relationships, but they can analyze nonlinear effects, combined effects in a Boolean logic of the complexity that the human brain can dif is, can, has difficulties to capture um, and ultimately identify patterns uh, to which, uh, to which are hidden to the human eye or the human brain. Doing this is very powerful, but it's also very dangerous because there's a risk that these techniques will overfit the result. They will perfectly explain the type of data set that they've been uh, trained on, but these results may not necessarily generalize to other instances. So it's very important to always look back and do an honest out of sample technique testing of those results. So you would take, for example, part of your data to train on and then test the results, the predictions on novel different data. You could train, for instance, based on information available until three, four years ago, see what you could have learned and then see what an application of this learning would have brought you in the last couple of years. If you fail to consider honestly these, uh, these techniques with this out of sample testing, there's a big risk that artificial intelligence turns into artificial stupidity and may actually pick up links that are just coincidental in the kind of data that randomly you would have had access to. Even with this honest in-sample, out-sample testing, we can, in the exploratory work we've done, see that the machine learning techniques are hugely powerful. They're able to identify uh, likely winners, likely uh, high-performing funds in the future, generating performance improvements of several hundred basis points. They're able to dramatically enhance the accuracy of our valuation of private equity funds that could be transacted in the secondary market for private equity fund stakes with simulated performance increases almost tenfold for investors that, that choose possible investment opportunities among those secondary fund stakes. And finally, they're able to cut in half the standard deviation of expected outcomes for uh, private equity cash flow requirements of a limited partner's portfolio. So we'll continue the research in this area, but we're very encouraged by these first findings, which are likely to re revolutionize the way investors are able to manage their private equity portfolios.